to your archery. The commencement of the 2022-2023 academic year at the University of Ghana started off with some students raising concerns over fees charged. Some students and the National Union of Ghana students accused the university of charging beyond the 15% approved by parliament for the academic year. A claim the university has dismissed. Parliament's Education Committee, after having a meeting with stakeholders on the matter, resolved that the fees charged were legal but recommended the management reduce fees owing to recent economic challenges. Pro Vice Chancellor in charge of Students and Academic Affairs of the University of Ghana, Professor Gordon Awandari, says the university management will meet its council to decide on the appeal by the committee. I think that's the news that should go out there that everybody should know. The University of Ghana did not charge any illegal fees. We have never charged any illegal fees. And we are currently not charging any illegal fees. Okay? That should be out there. And I think that um, the media should go back to all the people who told you that we charge illegal fees and ask them to apologize on camera to the University of Ghana. I think that's the next thing we should do. On our side, we would have meetings and consider the appeal by the the Parliamentary Select Committee. Meanwhile, some continuing students of the Mensa Saba and Commonwealth Halls are also opposing a new residential policy which saw them reassigned to new hostels. This led to some students clashing with the police stationed at the entrance of the Commonwealth Hall. 18 persons were arrested subsequently for their involvement after trying to enforce an interlocutory injunction on the new residential policy. But reacting to the issues, Registrar of the University, Emilia J. Mensa, said the university will be guided by recommendations of its legal team. The new accommodation arrangements have led to a number of court cases, including injunctions against the continuation of the implementation of the new residential arrangements. Yesterday, the university issued a news release which clearly provides an update on the situation. As a law-abiding institution, we are guided by our legal team in all our actions in this regard. The Pro Vice Chancellor for the University, Professor Gordon Awandari, has condemned the actions of the students. He added that the university is committed to enhancing the presence of security personnel to enforce law and order. Let's thank the police for their professionalism and for supporting the University of Ghana to maintain peace and calm on campus to allow academic work to continue. 99% of the students on this campus, by the way, we have about 67,000 students. 67,000 students. 99% of them, in fact, 99.9% .9 of them, just want peace to go to class and study and enjoy their time with their friends, okay? That small number of students who want to cause trouble, we will deal with them accordingly. Okay, so if there's a need to have security for the entire semester so that the 99.9% .9 of students who want peace and calm can have their peace and calm to go about their academic work, we will do so. And the police have been supportive. They agree that we need to guarantee peace for the 99.9% .9 of the students who want to just have an education. Management of the University of Ghana has hinted of plans to expand the new residential policy to other traditional halls by 2025-2026 academic year.